Ever found yourself swiping left or right in search of that special someone? In the digital age, seeking love or companionship online is the new norm. But is this a good idea? Are we enhancing our love lives? Or are we just complicating them? What makes this modern method of matchmaking so appealing and yet so controversial? Well, you're not alone. And today we're exploring just what makes online dating such a hot topic. Ease, accessibility, and variety. All words you might use to describe the world of online dating. It's like a buffet of potential matches right at your fingertips. The convenience is unparalleled. No longer do you need to dress up, travel, or even leave your cozy home to meet new people. Your next date could be just a swipe or a click away. The digital realm also offers a vast dating pool. With millions of users worldwide, online dating provides a collection of diverse individuals, all with different backgrounds, interests, and lifestyles. It's a platform where you can meet people who you may never have crossed paths with in your regular day-to-day -day life. But perhaps one of the most compelling advantages of online dating is the opportunity to get to know someone before you meet them face-to-face. -face. It's like peeking at the first few pages of a book before deciding to read the entire thing. You can chat, learn about their interests, their hobbies, their pet peeves, all before deciding to meet up. This can make the first date feel less like a nerve-wracking interrogation and more like a relaxed conversation between two people who already know a bit about each other. And let's not forget the freedom to be picky. With such a wide variety of options, you can afford to be choosy and find someone who really matches your preferences and personality. So, it seems like online dating has a lot going for it, but what about the other side of the coin? Misrepresentation, deception, and disappointment. These are some of the darker aspects of online dating. Let's start with misrepresentation. It's all too easy to present an idealized version of ourselves online. The flattering photo from five years ago, the carefully crafted biography, the omission of certain, shall we say, less appealing traits. This can lead to unrealistic expectations and when reality inevitably falls short, disappointment follows. Then we have deception. Some individuals take misrepresentation to the next level, creating entirely false identities. This is known as catfishing and it's a serious issue in the world of online dating. Catfishers can cause emotional distress, and in extreme cases, financial loss. And let's not forget about the impersonal nature of online communication. The lack of body language, tone of voice, and other non-verbal cues can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations. It's hard to truly get to know someone through a screen. Moreover, there's the potential for disappointment when online chemistry doesn't translate to real life. Just because you've spent hours chatting online, doesn't mean there'll be sparks when you meet face to face. Sometimes, the person who seemed like your perfect match online can feel like a stranger in person. Finally, although these issues are prevalent, they're not inevitable. Many people have found love online despite these challenges, but it's important to be aware, proceed with caution, and keep your expectations in check. Clearly, online dating isn't all roses, but what does this mean for you? So, is online dating a good idea, or a digital quagmire? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? We've taken quite the journey today, delving into the depths of online dating, its highs and lows, the good, the bad, and the downright complicated. Let's take a moment to rewind and revisit some of the key points we've discussed. On the positive side, we talked about the convenience and accessibility that online dating provides. It allows us to meet people we may never have crossed paths with otherwise, and it offers a platform for those who might struggle with traditional dating environments due to shyness, disability, or geographical location. However, we also dove into the darker side of this digital landscape. We discussed the potential for deception, the risk of encountering harmful individuals, and the sometimes overwhelming paradox of choice that can come with an endless stream of potential matches. But here's the thing. Whether or not online dating is a good idea, ultimately, is a deeply personal decision. It depends on your circumstances, your preferences, your comfort level with technology, and what you're looking for in a relationship. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. The world of online dating is vast and varied, and it's yours to explore if you choose. Just remember, like all things, it comes with its own set of pros and cons.